Hi guys, we're back doing this. I kind of forgot I had this to be honest. Uh, gonna try and make as little mess this time as I can. But I'm not very good at that. And there are cats kicking about, so you can probably hear Milo jingling. Move them aside. Right, how far did we get? What do you lot want? There's a queue of cats here. <laughs> There's three cats hovering, and I don't know what they want. Okay. Okay, let's see. How far did we get? Oh, like my Uh Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I really want to get this finished. <laughs> I've got another kit. Oh, that's not me saying I've bought another one that is... Even before I started with this, uh, I had another one. And I'm dreading it now because I've realised it takes ages and the other one's bigger. I'm forever finding bits of that stuff all over my camera and floor and tripod and everywhere after I, after I do these. So I'm trying to be less messy this time. But it's me, I highly doubt it will happen. I kind of put myself in the mood to do this today because I watched Fallen Kingdom again today, so that's the second, that's only the second time I've seen that film. I love it. And this kit is Jurassic World brand, so. Yeah, those two films got me. Dino daft. I don't know if these are supposed to take forever, like they do, like it seems to be doing with me, or if they're, if I'm just doing it wrong, if there is a quick way. Because I thought it would maybe take like an hour at the most. And put together, it has taken me so much longer than that. Okay, you need to see this. I went to start between the arms and a whole huge chunk has come out. So you can see and and then a well that's handy, I thought they were gonna make that a bit difficult. So we are doing really well now. Getting there, that is the front of the dinosaur mostly out. Please see, this will be the last part of this. <laughs> oh. I mean, these are really cool kits, but. I'm bored. I'm fed up with it, basically. 
I just want to be finished with it. can see something happening down here now. Coming off from the bit where I just pulled out the massive lump. We are getting somewhere. So I think around here we'll focus. Come on. Come on. Just looking at the little kid on this box, he looks very happy. Kids don't have a huge attention span. Like, they would not have that smell, he would not have that smell on his face by the end of this. He just wouldn't. And I'm making a mess again. Of course I am. <laughs> Knew he would. I want to see, can I just, can I start wiggling this, oh, okay we have movement, we have, my gloves don't even fit, but you know, that's not the real, the toe dropped, uh, yeah we have movement, you can see behind it, the marks, so I don't even know how this is sounding to you. I'm not used to talking to this side of the camera. And this close to the camera. So. Okay. Yeah. Digging it and we'll keep. I'm going to keep going for that. Let's try and. Wriggle it. See if I can just get it to. Pull itself out. Come on. Uh, come Dino. I'm getting this stuff everywhere again. <laughs> yes, I think we're going to get it out this time. I think this might be at the... Please let it be the final part. <laughs> Um, by the way, I don't mind getting messy, I know I keep complaining for this that I'm making a mess. I'm wearing gloves and protecting the floor while I'm doing this just because when I didn't in part one of this, I was just automatically touching things and I was getting it like inside my camera and things. So it's 
best if I don't do that. Let's not break the camera. Oh, I see movement. Can you wiggle? Not yet. Okay. Oh. I'm getting very excited now. <laughs> what? Um, I think I got carried away. I just broke my toe. I'll just have to use this. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, whoops. That's what happens when I get overexcited, apparently. About dinosaur bones. Okay, okay. Uh, can you see? We're getting more gap underneath. Yeah. We're nearly there. Oh, it's getting everywhere and I don't even care, I just want to finish this. The other two were so much easier. Yeah, so there's a lesson for you. If you're doing these kits, don't get over try not to get over excited because you might break the two. <laughs> Easily broken. So I've learned. Because I've been being really gentle with them before now. Uh, I just kind of went for it. I think an investment I need to make is get a big messy mat so I can actually sit on it because as I bring the, this closer to me I'm getting it all on the floor and on the tripod and stuff it's actually caught on the tripod legs and everything Guys, 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 look, look. It's a camera focus. Look, I have a foot. We have a foot. Right, and let's free that foot up. This is really exciting. <laughs> Free foot. And the tail and the other foot are still stuck. So let's find where I need to go for that.
three feet. We have two three feet. So it's just the tail that's still trapped now. So how exactly am I getting there? Okay, I think I can wiggle it at this point. Just... <gasps> Bite that. Oh my god! That is amazing! That's so awesome! So it is flexible, it's not a stiff thing. So I'm looking at it over the camera. Oh, it's amazing. Check that out. Oh, I dropped him. is my little dino skeleton and this is where we realize how bad I am at killing dinosaurs. I'm guessing because blue is on the box that it's a velociraptor. When I see a dinosaur skeleton, I automatically think, like, T-Rex. I think that's meant to be a velociraptor. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I am not good at that. I can tell them, I can tell who's the velociraptors in the film, because obviously I love blue. But... Without their skin on, it's a little bit more difficult. Focus. Helps a little bit. Sometimes that helps. So yeah, that is the end result from that kit. That is really awesome. So I'm going to wipe it down to get some of the stuff off of it. And um, put it with my other dinosaurs. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and it it it's words. It's quite boring going through it, but when you get near the end and you can see like you are getting somewhere. It is really exciting. <laughs> so it is worth it. And uh, there's probably a way to get through them faster. So, like it says, five year olds can handle. If it is and you know about it, feel free to tell me what mistake I made. So, I just brought it a bit too close and hit the camera. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.